these are some FAQ. Some of my readers have been making kimchi for over the years, and then they asked me questions, so many, so many similar questions. These are my answers, so I hope it helps. First, mangchi, which one is good quality cabbage or radish? Good cabbage is the leaves should be really green and fresh, and also the really thin, thinner instead of thick. So thin leaves are good. And inside, when you cut it, it's kind of yellow, perfect, delicious, and tastes sweet. This kind of cabbage is really good quality. Radish is the smooth, and then there is a green part, white part. The green part is more than white part, juicy, firm, and very tasty and sweet. And usually, this good stuff is peak seasons are like harvest time, fall season. But all around the year, cabbage radishes are available in Korean grocery store. If Korean radishes are not available, use daikon. It turn out good. Number two, mangchi. How long can we preserve kimchi in the refrigerator? My answer is almost forever. <laughs> kimchi is always fermenting. By time goes by, kimchi turns sour, getting sour and sour. But it never go bad. Whenever you take some kimchi to serve. And then always press down on top so that this all juice, kimchi juice, is submerged, like hold the top. In that case, kimchi never go bad. But Korean winter kimchi, winter kimchi or kimjang, when we make this, we use more salt. More salt makes the kimchi more firm. Some people age kimchi for a couple of years. This kind of kimchi, you need to add more salt. So you like to make, you know, aged kimchi with my recipe. Just uh, add more salt. Mangchi, I made kimchi, but kimchi too salty. You follow my recipe, it's not going to be salty kimchi. But if it happens, I will suggest just uh, cut the radish. Cut radish or daikon, slice around a quarter inch thick. And then between the kimchi, just insert. The radish will dilute the kimchi, so it's going to be okay. What kind of hot pepper flakes are good quality? Actually, like I like the sun-dried hot pepper flakes. It's called the taeyangcho. If you are so confused, choose the most expensive one. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know. And also, color is a bright red color, not dark. Dark color, when you make a kimchi, kimchi color will be not very pretty bright red. And also, hot pepper flakes, some hot pepper flakes, it says spicy. And spicy version hot pepper flakes, and mild version medium. So you can check out. In my case, I, I used to love spicy version hot pepper flakes, but these days I like mild one. And then I, because I make my kimchi really red, so red color really appealing. I love red kimchi. What should I do with the leftover paste? I made too much kimchi paste. What should I do? Keep in the freezer, freeze. And then when you make the next batch of kimchi, throw it out in the refrigerator. And maybe it takes overnight or several hours. After that, just make a kimchi. I hope you guys make really delicious, enhanced kimchi from now on. And then let me know how your kimchi turns out. Good luck with your Korean cooking. If you make a kimchi well, that means you are good at Korean cooking. Enjoy my kimchi recipe. See you next time. Bye.